Sunny, is it delicious? So those green beans on either side are not producing much anymore. So I might pull them up and um, might, probably not today, but I will possibly be planting Look more. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be possibly planting more green beans in both of these beds. And I do have the second crop of green beans coming on, but I haven't seen they have produced any beans yet, but probably before too long. So I called my husband and he would recommend giving cutting them a try instead of pulling them from the ground. Roots in the ground is a good thing. So anyway, we'll give this a try. Now I'm going to attempt to dig up some of these potatoes. It's kind of dying out, but it also could be because they weren't getting very much water. These zinnias are um, not allowing it to get too much water, potentially. Potato potatoes. And refresh these flowers. Hello down there. <laughs> This was from at least two pickings, and it's not very much. I don't think I would do a canner full. So I'll probably just save these for maybe fresh eating. So I'm gonna cut some of my parsley for my herb garden, and I'm going to try drying it in the oven. So. Okay, you can come out here if you stay right on. The, you can come out if you stay right on the porch. You can come out if you stay right on the porch. So here I have them washed and I'm going to let them dry for a bit and then I'm going to cut some stuff off and stick it in the oven. So I have it set on 170. I'm going to stick it in here and also I'm going to stick a wooden thingy right up in there. Well, here they are. The way you can tell that they are dry is if they crumble pretty easily. So. So we are over here at one of our pasture locations and my cousin Matt is going to preg check some of our cows. <clears throat> he has an ultrasound thing and so yeah, he's going to check on them and I don't think I said anything about our Dexters or three Dexters 
Um, they, we have them moved over here, away from the um, Thailander bull. And he's gonna preg check those three, um, and along with other cows. But even if it does not show up that they aren't pregnant, it's not a guarantee that they aren't pregnant because maybe they're just not far enough along to show on the ultrasound thing. So maybe we just get him to come over again sometime and check them again. So yeah, anyway. So she's been, she was in for close to 60 days, but we just pulled her about two weeks ago, week and a half. He's checking. I'm guessing not. What? Black circle there. Inside that circle, see that? It's not being very clear. You can kind of see yeah. sticking to the top. That's the point. There is a 30 day breeding day right now. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Inside that field. So, Ginger, one month. This one here, I put down as blue check. I do see a, what looks like it would be fluid, pregnancy fluid. It is not in a complete circle. But I'm not. So recheck? Okay. Yeah, recheck. But I... So along with drying parsley, I also dried basil and oregano. And today, I'm going to try something I've never tried before. And that is making garlic powder. Um, here is my garlic crop. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do all of it, but yeah, might do at least one of the braid sections. So yeah, anyway, we shall see how this goes. So here are the cloves of garlic. I peeled them. And can I just say, it took a long time. So I, this was like the first time that I had opened up any of the garlics. And as you could see, there are cloves in it. And before when I planted garlic, if there were any cloves, it was not hardly any, if any, that I remember. So this time around, there are cloves and I planted it last, like around last fall. Um, and I read something that said something about it's the cold weather that makes the garlic go into cloves. So anyways, they're cloved. <laughs> and now I'm going to cut them and on the sheet pan over here and then the next process is drying so here we go I'm gonna smell so garlicky the house is gonna smell so garlicky yeah. stuck a garlic in her mouth. <laughs> Is it not good? Is it kind of spicy? Is it kind of spicy? Let's see if I can fit all of them on this pan without having to get the other one. What are you painting? A cake. A cake. So set it for 170. And here they are. And I'm gonna stick them here in the oven. And I'm going to also put in wooden spoon 
in there and then maybe they'll be done within like four to six hours. And here is a forewarning. It smells of garlic in here. So I've done some supper prep. This is cucumber slaw. It's cucumber and dressing, a dressing mix in it, and that's all it is. And honestly, this on potatoes is one of my most favorite things. It is delish. And we're having deer steak for supper tonight, which I have over there marinating. We are having that, potatoes, and green beans should be delicious um so said something about that if it is bendy which it's bendy and all of these are maybe not exactly the same but it said then once it's cooled if it breaks in half then it's ready so maybe we'll just Attempt to let it cool for now and come back and check it. So I ended up sticking it back in the oven and um, so the total time is maybe around six hours. We'll see if it breaks in two fairly easy once it cools. Well, okay, this one maybe doesn't snap as great. But, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a grind. So this is the first time that I'm even using this food processor. Um, I'll give this a whirl, see if it actually um, grinds it decent. And if not, maybe I'll try the blender. Okay, so let's see if this thing is going to run. Have a look, see. Oof. Oh, there's powdery stuff coming out. It's definitely not powdery enough. Ugh. <laughs> so here is another look see definitely some powder in there a closer look at the powder. There you have it. So these are ones that I didn't get ground all the way down to powder, but I'm probably going to put this in like a bag or something and use it for more like soups and um, maybe that type of thing. I don't know for sure what I'm going to use it for, but let us not waste it. So I have the deer steak cooking here, and then here I have some sauteing green beans, an inch yet, and then also some potatoes in here, I'm going to bring them to a boil and get them soft, and then the cucumber slaw is in the fridge. And now that they are finished, I'm going to pour some brown butter. Woo! And then here are the finished product of the potatoes and the salted green beans. I season them with, I season the green beans with salt <clears throat> and onion powder and I had the garlic cloves in it as well. And I sauteed it in butter. Well, 
I think I am going to end this video. You have something to say? Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. See you next time. See you next time. You have something to say? <laughs> say bye. Bye. Aww. Bye. <laughs>